So I was thinking while I'm marathoning all of these Friday the 13th movies, why don't I also read a book? So I'm reading uh, the Friday the 13th Church of the Divine Psychopath. This was from 2005, I believe. Yeah, 2005. It was a Black Flame publication. I uh, actually bought this uh, from Borders back in the day. I think I got, I got three of these novels. They go for extremely too much now. Uh, unfortunately, because I would like to, you know, buy all the other ones, but uh, I'm not, I'm not spending hundreds of dollars on little mass market uh, books. You know what I'm saying? I believe I read that this was set before Jason Goes to Hell. Just like this one goes into Jason Goes to Hell. died shrieking in terror her breasts jiggling in the air <laughs> oh my gosh really let's let's be honest it is a slasher book so that's gonna happen it's something you know we're really missing you know tie-in books like this i really wish it was a it was a thing again we're finally getting novelizations back uh i know severin's been doing a couple and um oh my gosh and psycho uh, apocalypse it's psycho apocalypse i i can't remember the name of the the company but they've been doing a, a few too i uh, actually i'll drop the uh drop the name right there because i mean they are actually doing doing some pretty good stuff but those are like i said novelizations of the movies not like the time books like this the boy was also butt naked but he hadn't thought about reaching for his clothes when a machete blade ripped through and slashed through the neon walls of the tent i would love to see like brian smith tackle a uh, a tie-in book for friday the 13th and ryan harding tackle one that would be a dream the writer of this one is um scott phillips the descriptions of the uh the slashing is pretty good i mean for instance before she died the girl glanced down to see her steaming intestines spilling from the gash in her belly sliding along in the blood to become entangled in her <laughs> i mean that's 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 pretty pretty brutal oh we got some uh trent vibes here on the scream from uh, the remake. The boy let out an awkward girlish squeal when he realized Jason was pursuing him. <laughs> if this book doesn't already scream Doug, I don't know what does. You know I love horror and I love metal. Here we go. Her dead eyes stare up at him, blood pooling in one of the sockets. She didn't look so goddamn sexy anymore, not like she had at the kitty concert where they first met. <laughs> Hell yeah. What's your favorite kitty song? You know, Morgan, she's a huge uh, horror fan. My favorite kitty song is Into the Darkness. The similes that Scott Phillips uses are pretty amazing. For instance, because he had done a pretty fine job in the past taking the opportunities the Lord sent him his way and flushing them like a toilet full of turds. <laughs> so I wonder if uh, he was from the South because he used, uh, used this, he says, and he has received plenty of blowjobs, but that was just gravy on the biscuits. Just gravy on the biscuits. He had to be from the south. Okay, so Father Long uh, gets a flat tire. And of course, he can't change the flat himself. Luckily for him, Rickles is, uh, you know, there ready to do the thing. And he figured before he does the thing, he will do one last good deed, right? And he's gonna change Father Long's tire. Afterwards, uh, Father Long's very appreciative of him changing his tire. He's gonna take him out for a good meal. A good meal, of course, is to Waffle House.
So I am personally glad that Roger or Robert, whatever his name is, has been slashed and his blood and guts are all over the floor because I was getting annoyed by the whole Roger, Robert, Rob thing. It was annoying. So Scott Phillips, you annoyed the hell out of me with that. Okay, so let's be honest about Scott Phillips. He actually, you know, th this book is not bad. Just like the way he says like, oh, throws like a girl. She don't hit like a girl. I mean, that kind of shit is just kind of, kind of, kind of fucked up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, don't really appreciate that. I don't, I'm not, I'm not digging that aspect of it. But a lot of this book, I am digging. I mean, there is, there's some, there's some fun stuff going on. I just wish he laid off of that stuff. It's like, and if it was just one time, that was one thing. But it's like over and over. I mean, he's got a few of these things. But then again, I guess that's just the product of its time. This uh, book came out in 2006 or 2007, something like that. I guess it's just a product of its time. And, you know, more from what the hell did I just read? He quickly rolled towards the woman, driving his fist into her lusciously kissable lips. Really? What? Was slamming her little rock hard girl knuckles repeatedly. What girls do to you, Scott? Please let us know in the comments. Jamie is in there Halloween shopping. So I'm gonna do what I do. This is just what I do whenever I kind of drive around, let the producer go do shopping. I sit out in the car and, and read. So let's go ahead and get back into this book. Father Long is one crazy MFR. You're you're warning Jason to get Father Long, so they're gonna they're gonna space that one out and you want to see Mr. Rickles just decapitated maybe I mean you just you want that all right so I'm about to go to bed but I'm uh reading in my book and I come upon this and just before I go to bed I just gotta read you guys this this is explicit by the way so if that's going to be a problem, you might not want to listen to this part. He let his fingers trail across his lips, imagining what the girl's fragrance would be like when he finally got the chance to drink from her furry cup. <laughs> God damn it. Producer Jamie just got me out of a procedure. I am kind of out of it because they have me sedated or put me on anesthesia. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sweet. Um, I'm going to read some of my books. See if I can understand, comprehend, or, or what. Blair said his words were becoming to sound a bit slurred. But I sound slurred right now. I don't know. Maybe not. Hopefully not. After all, Jason Voorhees scared the living shit out of me. He admitted to himself. In a normal gunfight, you shoot somebody, they stay shot. Yeah. If you're lucky, they die. Well, okay. Mm, yeah. So in this story, this um, Father Long believes that um, Jason Voorhees is the, like, vengeance. 
Uh, sorry about all the nastiness here that my daughter has done to that window, by the way. Um, it believes Jason is like the angel of vengeance. So all these sinners will be dealt with. If you're not true at heart, you, you will be dealt with. That's his thing. That's his philosophy. So the people that are being slaughtered in this book, well, God wanted it that way, according to Father Long. Um, the other aspect of this book is you have like a, a unit, not technically military, maybe mercenary, uh, you, you know, you have, you have them as well. So, so a couple aspects of it here. Drop them my bookmark. If you notice, I'm reading in the car a lot. Well, that's kind of why things work out. I'm kind of like the family chauffeur and I take people places all the time. So uh, when they go into the stores or do whatever they do, I'm out here reading. It's Friday the 13th. And I'm going to get done with my book. I have stretched this out to end it on Friday the 13th. So, let's do this. The Church of the Devon Psychopath. I... I loved it. There are a few passages in it that I just, I, I didn't care for much. Uh, there were also some terminology that he used, like, you know, that, you know, with the, it's not really that great. But, you know, I try not to judge, you know, books by things like that, especially books that were wrote, you know, you know, a while back. Even though, I mean, this one technically was only like a little less than 20 years ago, but still, I mean, I'm sure as a kid, I know for a fact, when I was an uncultured kid growing up in Alabama, I used the phrase, you hit like a girl. I, you know, but, you know, so I'm not going to, like, hold things like that against it. Uh, I give this book four and a half stars. I mean, there are some good scenes in this book. Uh, the story's good. Uh, you know, it would actually, it would almost get a five star. But personal preference for me, I just hate the soldier thing. You know, that was this kind of, like, eh, it wasn't really my style. I really, really, really hope someone gets... Uh, uh, the rights to these or at least uh, are able to lease the rights to these just to uh, put them out again and I'm not talking about ebooks I want like paperbacks I mean I've got like three of these but I want the others I, I really do I would love to have the others and I don't want to I don't want to get them illegally and I don't want to buy them ebook if they put out an ebook I want a, a physical copy and I also I'm not going to spend like $100 on something like that either um, have you read the book what did you think let me know down in the comments and as always when you're reading your books and you got that nice chill in the air because fall's coming stay spooky eat you just a little bit of pumpkin spice keep it the shelf